What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for checking us out again. Today we are reviewing a Moroccan restaurant in London, London, England that is. Uh, this place, I've been here before, I've had my 30th birthday here and I had an absolutely amazing time. Uh, if you are looking for authentic Moroccan food, this is the place to go. They have the upstairs area and then they have the downstairs area as you can see here. Now one thing I really love about this place, besides the food, is the art. I mean look at this beautiful painting right here. And look at this one again. The thing about this painting is, is that they are exactly as you would find them in Morocco. The paintings, the decorations, the furniture in this place is absolutely 100% authentic. Anyway, we're here to review the food. Enjoy. <laughs> Double Decker Anthony's here, everybody. How are we doing? We're we, good? We're doing good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. This is my breakfast, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah but Moroccan breakfast. It's Moroccan, lovely. Moroccan, Moroccan breakfast is with the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, no, I know. 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 I how would you explain the gene? How would you explain it's a pot where you have a sauce yeah. and uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. chicken or meat. So I'm gonna set you up. Yeah, yeah. I'll explain him the yeah, menu, yeah, yeah. I'll show okay. him. I don't think he wants it, the gene. <laughs> no, I, I obviously I'll try anything. I, okay. I don't. I think it's the anchovies I don't like. Yeah, it's whatever. So you are an experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your tongue gene? It's, it's not a tangerine. No, 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 no bro, it's the best thing you can have. I'll tell you now. Yeah, I'll eat anything, mate. Do you want to go with lamb? Lamb? Yeah. Lamb tagine is sweet. Ooh. Lamb tagine. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Lamb. lamb is my favorite. I love lamb. All right, we'll go for lamb tagine and chicken tagine. Lamb tagine. And, and, and can we have a bread? <laughs> Actually, no, it is one o'clock in, in the afternoon. <laughs> This is an original Moroccan beer right there, it's called Casablanca. If you've been to Morocco, you're gonna see a lot of them. It's got 5% alcohol content. I've cut down on my drinking, so Anthony's gonna give you a review of what it tastes like. No pressure, brother. Yeah. No. Is this classes Leicester Square? Or... I thought it was Soho. Yeah, yeah, it's Soho. Soho yeah. So yeah, we're here, we're here now in Leicester Square, Leicester kind Square. of uh, Covent Garden, Soho, is it or something? Yeah. Right next to the Harry Potter... Oh thing? yes, the Harry Potter thing's just up the road. Is um, it a theater? What is <laughs> somewhere <else there? laughs> Wow. Oh. wow, wow, look at that. Yeah. Alright, Anton is going to the toilet real quick, so in the meantime, a quick training on how to eat Moroccan food. You always gotta use bread. Okay, now you are to use whatever you want, frankly. That's what they gave us, fork and knife. But traditionally, you really should be using bread. So you take a piece of bread like this, and you dip it in, just like that. Take a piece of, you know, take some fries with it. You said you couldn't film the outside, I just walked in and then the food's here. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, it's on my mind. I'm gonna... That's how you eat it properly. It's really nice. But of course, having grown up with eating Moroccan food and having so many tagines over my lifetime, you, you do notice the difference. <clears throat> it's not bad, it's really nice as well. We Unfortunately, okay. it's not exactly the same as the Moroccan one, and that's only because of the ingredients they use. Potatoes here do taste different. Uh, the chicken here tastes a little bit different. So it's not exactly the same, but still very good. And as I said, if you want authentic Moroccan food, this is the place or the closest one to attending Moroccan food. This is definitely the place. I'm gonna try it right now. Come to Jean, here we go. Get in, my man, get in. Ooh. Yeah, eat it with the bread, you? man, Anton. Look, oh. you get a, get a piece of bread, dip it in, scoop out all the vegetables and the meat. So this is how, this is how they do it, man. So this is what it was like in, in mm -hmm. Morocco, yeah? That's how it still is in Morocco. Mm. Do you have chips as well? Yeah. Yeah. Can 
Can I have a few chips? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just eat some chips. Mm. Oh, yeah. I love lamb. It is my favorite. We always There's a my... British trying to eat Moroccan food with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Try some Let's couscous. Do. Mm. That couscous with a bit of... Um, what's that light brown stuff? Is that like a... Um, flavouring? Or is it like a... Um, I can't remember how you say it in um, English. It's called Zafran. Can't beat this bread. This is proper bread. Yeah. I think the problem with British bread, it's all sliced brown bread, isn't it? In plastic. Yeah. Mm. Although... This isn't really Moroccan bread. This is this is a pita. This is pita bread. Moroccan bread is a lot more thick and fluffy. Yeah. But hey, as long as the tagine tastes good, that's all I care about. And yeah. it does taste good. Oh, mushroom. No, that's um, mm. that's apricot. Topical. Apricot. Oh, apricot. Apricot. Yep. Oh. I'm not a fan of that. That's why I told him don't put it in mine. It's very <laughs> sweet, isn't it? Not too sweet, mm. it is a little bit there, I can taste it, but I think it adds to the lamb. Usually apricots can be very, very sweet, but this has been maybe, maybe it's been cooked, it's lost mm. some of it. Mm. If that's a traditional meal in its way, I like to try it in the way it is, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> using the fork, maybe. Yeah. You're using the fork? Mm. Blasphemy. Like, uh, on onion. Oh, I don't know if we've said what we got. So I've got the chicken tagine, Anton's got, this the is the lamb tagine, isn't it? I think this is his lamb. You get, they give you a lot of lamb. Look how much meat they gave you. Wow. Now they did say that because we are the first customers of the day, they gave us the biggest portion they had. So that's mm. good. Yeah. Um, so I guess when you come here, in the middle of the day, I guess, they're probably gonna give you a very small, well not very small, but they're gonna give you a normal size. It's gonna be smaller than this, apparently. Yeah. Unless you pay extra for it, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna finish this so much. Have you been ordered it this morning? No. Have you been up early? I've come off middle late shift, so I ate kind of... It's up at eight. Yeah. I took the car to the mechanic. Finally, to get it fixed. All right, what was wrong with it? Clutch is gone. It's leaking oil somewhere. Battery is yeah. gone. Or maybe the alternator. Is it... When you start it, is it like... It doesn't start. Because I know if there's a click sound, that means it's the starter motor, isn't it? Because everything's gone wrong with my cars over the years, you know. Um, I didn't hear any clicking sound. That's not the start of motor. Yeah. Well, I didn't pay attention to it, so maybe it does. Maybe. Yeah, probably with the battery, flat battery. Oh, probably. And then also, yeah, alternator. I had a new alternator on the Volvo just um, a year back, actually. If you look at the lights, it's slightly flicky. If they slightly flicker... Where is this light? No, I mean my front, front lights, they were kind of... Oh. Hmm. They weren't like flickering like slowly, but there was a slight, you know, and the, uh, because it wasn't getting the full voltage, you know. Mm. Is that a... It's a peach, I think. Is that a bit of onion? Mm. Mm. So they usually put peach and apricot in the tagine, especially mm. the lamb tagine. Mm. Oh. Which I hate, so I, I've asked him to not put it in mine. It's nice to try. Because I think it adds to the flavour, you know. Yeah. Um, I didn't know it was actually that, actually. If I, would have, if I would have been told that, I might have said no. So it's actually nice to try it, because that's the traditional meal. You thought it was mushroom at the beginning. I thought the black one was mushroom, yeah. Yeah, I'm used to... Well, yeah. Until I picked it up, I was thinking... Mmm. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Wow, one of the best, be one of the best breakfasts I've, I've, I've ever had. No. <laughs> <laughs> here and uh, yeah it was good so um, it was amazing wasn't it yes I had the lamb uh, tangine the prunes uh, and you had the chicken with potatoes yep. is that right fries yes and uh, and two Casablancas as well yeah which was really nice so it was a, a lovely meal fantastic Moroccan tea uh, yes of and mint tea Turkish delight which uh, Turkish delight as well of course uh, and, and a nice Casablanca Moroccan beer as well there you go 
I really enjoyed it. I would recommend this place, as I said before, absolutely. The food is authentic. Take it from a Moroccan and from a British guy. What do you think? Was it nice? You yes, it, I just love the I love the atmosphere of the place. I want to come in. I want to feel relaxed. It's nice to have the right music with the right volume. Uh, fantastic customer service. Fantastic location. Just a few minutes walk from a Northern Line tube station, fantastic. So uh, if you are in the Leicester Square area, Tottenham Court Road, Shaftesbury Avenue around there, just pop in to, uh, to Souk, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll have a link at the description at the bottom of this video. But uh, join us again for more food videos to come. You'll be watching myself and Jamal, or it's goodbye from him, and it's you say goodbye from me. What? No, no. I'll say, I'll, no, I'll say it's a goodbye from him, and you say, and it's a goodbye from me. You say that. Oh yeah, go on. So, uh, so it's a, it's a goodbye from him, and it's a goodbye from me. And I'll see you all on another video. Yeah, soon. See you next goodbye. time. Guys. <laughs>